from clean and clear to an orange colored pool of mine waste. New at 10, the Environmental Protection Agency releasing some details about their big mistake, but still not leaving us with uh, too much information about exactly how this happened. The EPA has taken full responsibility for that massive mine waste spill, but the agency will not give us any information about just how toxic this is or how long it may take to clean it all up. So we went out to get answers from experts who can explain how this became a problem in the first place. Seven News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski joins me now. And Jen, this is all pretty shocking. Teresa, you can see the dramatic difference in these interactive images posted by the Durango Herald. Now, this is what the Animas River normally looks like. You can see it's clear. People are out enjoying kayaking. Here's what it looks like now. It's bright orange, and you can't even see the bottom. I talked to an expert from the Colorado School of Mines about the impact of this spill. It looks terrible. And none of us want to see that. The EPA is taking blame for this orange mess that is now the Animas River. After a cleanup crew accidentally spilled an estimated 1 million gallons of wastewater from this Gold King mine north of Silverton, you can see where the breach happened and the orange waste spilling out. The orange is really. Iron. Ronald Cohen is an environmental engineer at the Colorado School of Mines. He says to understand what happened, you have to go back in time. There's a very big role for the history because you're looking at a mine, the Gold King Mine, you know, it was last worked in 1923. 90 years ago, Conan says miners would pump the waste out because there were no regulations. Once they were put in place, that stopped. Now the Gold King Mine is one of hundreds filled with contaminated water in our state. Contaminated water that needs to be cleaned up. 450 that have problems uh, discharging acid mine drainage. So it's just the process of mining that you get that material, that water to become contaminated. The question now is how toxic is it? The EPA has found trace levels of arsenic in the water, but still hasn't said how high the metal levels are. Worst case scenario is if you had very high levels of iron, zinc, copper, lead, cadmium then uh, there would be a big concern. Conan says high levels of metal can kill off wildlife. You can lose your fish, you can lose the insects that the fish feed on, and that can be very dramatic. The EPA says there have been no reports of wildlife deaths. It is actively monitoring the situation, but couldn't provide a timeline for when the spill will be cleaned up. There's still a lot of questions that are out there. Now, the EPA says no one has been placed on leave as a result of the spill, but it is looking into what happened. The plume of waste is moving at about four to five miles per hour. It reached Kirtland, New Mexico this afternoon, which is where the, Anim the Animas River flows into the San Juan River. Teresa? And Jen, starting tomorrow morning, they're going to be releasing more water from Navajo Dam in order to dilute that waste that's merging into the San Juan River. Officials now discouraging people from getting into the rivers until the sediment and discoloration is passed. New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez put a message on her Facebook page calling out the EPA. It says in part, this was caused by the EPA and the EPA should demand the same of itself as it would of a private business responsible for such a spill, particularly when it comes to making information available to public and state and local officials.